It's called the Big Island for a very good reason. While the state's other islands were formed by a single volcano or by the merging of two, Hawaii, or the Big Island, is the work of five major volcanoes. Two, Mauna Loa and Kilauea, are still active. As the youngest of the islands, Hawaii has few beaches or reefs, but it still yields to no other in size and grandeur. Rising from 18,000 feet deep to soar to nearly 14,000 feet above sea level, the island of Hawaii is twice the size of all the other islands combined. The Big Island has two major regions, the west side, or Kona, and the east side, or Hilo. We are going to begin our visit on the west side. We stayed in the resort community of Kaalua Kona at the Kona Bay Hotel on Ali'i Drive. The next morning, Mom and I went for a stroll along the waterfront and Ali'i Drive with its shops and restaurants. Mom found a fruit stand and couldn't resist buying some of the local fruits and vegetables. As we began to drive toward the east side, we decided to stop at Hapuna Beach State Park. After parking the car, it's just a short hike down to the beach. There is a small gravel path along the beach made up of small lava rocks. Not only is it a beautiful area, but it is also one of the best spots on this side of the island for surfing. We decided to stay here for a while and just enjoy the view. Our next stop was to see the original statue of King Kamehameha. This statue of Kamehameha the Great, unifier of the Hawaiian Islands, is the original cast of the American sculptor Thomas R. Gould. When the ship carrying it to Hawaii caught fire and was beached near Cape Horn, another was cast and shipped to Hawaii in 1883. The second statue today stands in front of the State Judiciary Building in downtown Honolulu. Later, the original was salvaged, repaired, and sent to Kamehameha's North Kohala birth site, where it now stands outside the courthouse. After leaving, we drove out to the end of Highway 270 to see what we had heard was an unparalleled scenic view, and we were not disappointed. When we arrived in Hilo, we checked into the Hilo Bay Hotel. The Hilo Bay Hotel is a resort area along Banyan Drive where notables of a generation ago, including Amelia Earhart and Franklin Delano Roosevelt, planted impressive rows of banyan trees. From Hilo is a 45-minute drive to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. At the park entrance, we stopped at the visitor center to pick up some road and trail maps. Just past the visitor center on Crater Rim Drive are the sulfur banks. As you can see, the vents in this area are highly active. If you think these sulfur banks look big, you ought to smell the air here. It smells like someone struck about a million matches all at once. Further down the road are the steam vents. These vents help to relieve some of the pressure that is in the earth beneath us, and the steam is extremely hot, so you can't get too close or it can severely burn you. Next, we stop at Kilauea. The Kilauea crater has undergone dramatic change since the 1823 visit of William Ellis, the first Western explorer. In that year, the crater was almost 1,000 feet deep, twice as deep as it is today. An inner pit several miles across contained raging lakes of molten lava. Throughout the 19th century, these lakes repeatedly overflowed, building up the level of the floor halfway to the brim. 
By 1905, Kilauea looked much as it does today. Since then, Halemaumau Crater has been enlarged and seven new flows have been added to the crater floor. After leaving Kilauea, our next stop is at the observatory and museum. At the museum, volcanic activity is analyzed using seismographs, tilt meters, and printouts from monitors in and around Kilauea. You will find illustrations and exhibits on the formation of volcanoes and the geologic history of the Hawaiian Islands. As you drive towards Halemaumau Overlook, you drive through an old lava flow. When lava flows, it destroys everything in its path, leaving a landscape that looks like the surface of the moon. After parking our car, it's just a short walk to Halemaumau Crater Overlook. Part of Kilauea Volcano at 3,660 feet elevation, Halemaumau, which means Fern House, was the most popular tourist attraction in Hawaii from 1823 to 1924, when it contained a bubbling lake of lava. This overlook into the crater still reeks of sulfur. Although the eruptions have stopped, the smoke rising out of the crater is a witness to the volcanic activity below. After leaving Halemaumau, we turn off of Crater Rim Drive and onto Chain of Craters Road. Chain of Craters Road is a 50-mile round-trip drive that descends 3,700 feet to the coast and dead ends at the lava flow across the road. On the way to the coast, you can see the steam rising as the lava flows into the sea. There are two types of Hawaiian lava, Pahoehoe -hoi and A'a, -a, different in appearance but chemically alike. Pahoehoe -hoi has a smooth and ropey surface. It is hotter and contains more gas than the jagged and rough A'a. -a. There was little doubt when we had reached the end of the road because it was covered with lava. This is a fairly fresh lava flow. I was here six months ago and where this lava is now was a stone overlook above a black sand beach. Both are gone now. Not far past this point is where the lava is still flowing into the sea. As you stand here watching this awesome sight, you feel as if you're witnessing creation. And you're right. As we headed back toward the entrance of the park, we can see the path of the lava flow as it was headed to the sea. But where this lava moved over land, much of the lava moves through lava tubes underground. We are walking down to the Thurston Lava Tube. As you enter the tube, you realize the massive amounts of lava that move underground. This lava tube is 450 feet long and about 20 feet wide, and in some areas, 20 feet high. The lava tube is created when a river of hot lava cools on the surface, forming a shell, but the still molten lava beneath continues to flow. Well, this just about ends our stay on the Big Island. But on the way back to the hotel, we couldn't resist stopping and enjoying the beautiful Japanese gardens before leaving for Kauai. <laughs>